I've been for a few years doing like using my own bags, trying to reduce plastic usage, bringing my own cup around. So when the car renewal came about and thinking about an electric car was a very um, strong contender for us to sort of think about. My name is Michelle. Um, I work in an advertising um, agency. I was a bit scared first. <laughs> I was like, ooh, it's different, like the way it works. But actually, after a while, it was very, very, very easy and I really enjoyed it. When I tried the Mini Electric, the thing that was really making the switch for me was that it's even more fun. So it's not just about the environment. I mean, you need to enjoy the ride as well. As a driver, if you enjoy driving and if you like Mini already as a brand, then naturally you want to still enjoy this ride. There's also an aspect of cost is so much cheaper. You know, you do one full charge, 100%, you have 160 kilometers. So at the beginning, I was a bit nervous because I'm thinking I'm fairly busy. I always go about. I don't have the time to think about charging the car. <laughs> How does it work? You know, which apps do you need to know where to charge? And there's a whole community actually under an app which is called Plug Share, where you can see What's happening? There are many apps. There's Greenlots, there's SP apps, there's many, but the PlugShare app allows every driver, no matter which model and where they charge their car and how, to actually see what are the points and to leave a comment as well. So you can know, oh, this has got four reviews of people who have tried it and it's not working. And so we help each other in that. It's a little bit like Waze, um, it's community driven. Um, it's the same thing. And I think also it takes a period of time as a driver to know your pattern. At the beginning, I was just charging for charging purpose, right? And then I realized, wait a second, like, I might do something else as I'm charging. Why am I just waiting there or feeling like I need to take the bus to go back home and come back again? I can do work. So I ended up doing things in the car which I didn't think of doing before. Just move my seat back, charge my phone, have internet, hotspot, and do work in my car. It's a shift, it's a change of behavior, but it's also like you have to believe that it works. And the fact that there's a community behind it means that surely if everyone else is doing it and it's working for them, and they're all coming from such different back background, then you know, like, why not? We need to get used to it in a way because I think Singapore is moving towards also being like a net zero nation. The reality is like as more demand comes, then someone needs to supply. And considering that Singapore as a government has a plan by 2030 to do many things, as well as you know having more char charging stations, you can also see that uh, companies such as like Shell, BP, and all of the likes, they are going to transform eventually their petrol station into charging stations. And this has already started. As more people are asking for it, then companies and governments are forced to make the switch as well, which they already started in Singapore. So the win-win comes from the government is achieving the target that they need to. We're helping, you know, protect our planet for our future generations. And at the same time, we are already doing the right thing and, and we are studying it, all of us together, basically. So it's all a community driven sort of um, demand for better Singapore, better ways of living. Mm -hmm.